If you're not increasing your deadlift max, you should try this eight minute workout. Deadlift workout completed in 12 minutes. So let's get it. <laughs> workout completed in nine minutes. Today's day 13 of daily deadlifting. What's up YouTube? This is Angel from Strength is First. And in this video, I'm just sharing my experience and how you can cut down your deadlift workout time, whether you're working one hour, two hours, or even three hours in the gym, down to as little as eight minutes. And we can still improve our deadlift max at the same time. So the secret sauce deadlift program I'm running right now isn't really that much of a secret. I'm sure you probably heard of the Bulgarian style squatting program where they squat daily for high intensities and low volume. So the same concept can be applied for a deadlifting program in the variation I'm running. I'm doing at least three reps of daily minimums of 85% of my one rep max at least one day in the week. I'll hit a weekly minimum of 90 to 95% of my one rep max. If that is completed successfully, I'll either increase the daily minimum by 1%, which is around five pounds, or you'll add one rep. So instead of doing three reps, you're gonna be doing four reps. And if any time during this program, you hit a new PR, you'll adjust the weekly minimum 90 to 95%. So if your all time PR was 500 pounds and you hit 520, you'll just take 90 to 95 percent of 520 and make that your weekly minimum the program is simple the concept is straightforward and i was just thinking to myself when i was doing research and seeing people doing 30 day deadlifting challenges 50 day daily deadlifting challenges and i was thinking to myself why not me and i know what you're probably thinking right now are you gonna get hurt is, is it safe you need more rest breaks you're only supposed to deadlift once or two times maximum three times a week what, what are you doing my answer to that is that the deadlift itself as an exercise isn't dangerous <gasps> it's the lifter that has poor form or biomechanics inadequate recovery that makes the deadlift dangerous i'll let that sink in for a minute for you but there is a point about fatigue management that needs to be addressed. If you pick your main deadlift stance, which you're going to be starting off the program with, you will run into issues where either your lower back is sore because of conventional or your hips are just so tired, so fatigued due to sumo. And this is where you need to have multiple variations as you run through the program. So if your hips are sore, you might want to do some conventional variation. If your lower back is sore, you're going to do some sumo deadlifts. If your form feels off that day, you can include some pause work into your program. If your upper back feels good, but you don't want to tax your hips or your lower back, you'll include some banded work, adding bands. And something else you might be thinking about is that, is this sustainable? And to answer that, i like you to check out my video right here so that you can see how my first 10 days of daily deadlifting went. 